Climate change is affecting life on our planet and is likely to alter its future. For many inhabitants, the consequences of climate change are already being felt all over the world. Sooner or later, we shall all face some effects of climate change. Heaven or hell? The question of our future is not a matter of choosing between the two, but whether or not we are going to accept our own responsibilities. We all share responsibility for CO2 emissions. Industry is roughly responsible for 20% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. European industry is responsible for 2% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions and the European chemical industry for less than 1%. But the chemical industry hasn't been standing idly by. It has decreased its greenhouse gas emission by about 6% annually in the last 10 years. The chemical industry is helping to fight climate change, not only by reducing CO2 emissions from its own production, but also by promoting research to develop innovative energy efficient products for everyone. So we can all take new action to adopt eco-responsible behavior, using energy saving bulbs, taking modern public transport insulating our homes better, installing double glazed windows, making use of adequate paints and reusable plastics, low water consumption detergents, high-tech batteries, and so on. Without the chemical industry, we would still be driving great looking cars, but polluting heavy, dangerous, and gas guzzling ones. Hello. But chemistry can help you go green, safe, and light in modern cars. The European Commission has set a new target for the post-Kyoto period, an emissions reduction of 20% by 2020. The EU chemical industry has already invested substantially in becoming more energy efficient and clearly supports the EU's objective in that matter. To meet the CO2 reduction target, some regulators propose a method called auctioning that would fine all industries, no matter how energy efficient they are, no matter how far they protect the climate. Auctioning penalizes everybody. It's taking money out of investment capacities just to pay additional taxes. At a time when, facing international competition, the EU chemical industry needs strong competitiveness to enable innovative climate change solutions. In the chemical industry, as in other sectors, there are good performers in making efforts to reduce CO2 emissions, and others that are not so good. Those that have invested heavily in limiting CO2 emissions, and also those waiting to be told off before they agree to make an effort on climate protection. Why should we apply such a painful treatment to all competitors? The auctioning proposal will discourage the good performers, who don't want to pay twice, once for making efforts by investing in climate protection and once again for having the right to emit remaining CO2 when manufacturing useful products. This system could lead to businesses relocating outside the EU. It's not the right answer to efficient climate change management. We should only focus on effective ways of promoting low carbon technologies for all. For this, there is a simple and logical tool called benchmarking. It's a very natural practice we all use in everyday life when seeking the best value for money. Benchmarking means taking as a fair and objective reference point the performances of businesses from the same sector. Benchmarking means comparing apples to apples and pears to pears. This objective comparison can be done not only for apples, but also for greenhouse gas emissions. You see, benchmarking offers many advantages. The process is clear, and the group agrees on an independent referee to collect information for further action. It offers a fair return on investments, commitments and personal efforts. With benchmarking, high tech becomes available for all to tackle climate change. All players have the same incentives to reduce emissions and to perform better. The winners will be the ones having qualified to the required minima, thanks to needed efforts. And the better the average performance is over time, the higher the bar. Benchmarking works like a sport qualification process. 
The fewer CO2 emissions industries produce, the stronger they perform. The more they're trained and qualified to compete in the international economy, where they will continuously raise the bar. Above the rising bar, you will be rewarded. Below, you will pay carbon taxes, which means an incentive to invest in best available techniques. The European chemical industry is committed to playing a leading role in helping the EU achieve its objectives. But it should be treated fairly, so that it can continue to develop innovative climate change solutions for the benefit of all. So benchmarking is definitely the tool of choice.